Hello, I'm Jamie Gallagher and today I want to tell you about one of my favourite scientists, Marie Curie. Recently, the Royal Society of Chemistry have announced that Marie Curie is to be one of the 175 faces of chemistry. The RSC have this ongoing project to highlight diversity through the chemical sciences and few people can be more deserving than Marie Curie. A phenomenal woman, not only because of the amazing scientific achievements that she made, but because she made these achievements in the face of adversity, ignorance and bigotry. Born Marie Skolowska in Warsaw, Poland, which at the time was under Russian rule, she was born to a well-educated family and it seemed quite logical that following school she would go on to university to pursue the science that she was growing to love. However, here she encountered a problem. She was a woman and because of this the universities wouldn't admit her. She tried in Austria where again her gender stopped her being admitted. Finally, she had to leave her beloved home country of Poland and travel to Paris, where she was admitted, along with a handful of other women, into a class of 2,000 men. She excelled at her degree and, while there, also met her future collaborator and husband, Pierre. They were quickly married and even quicker off to work, and before long, Marie and Pierre were collecting their collaborative Nobel Prize in Physics for their study of radioactivity. Sadly, three years later, Pierre was dead following a tragic and rather gruesome run-in with a horse and cart. This was a great loss, Marie losing her husband and her lab partner, but she carried on working. She carried on isolating the elements that they discovered together, radium and polonium. Polonium, incidentally, the only element to be named after a political cause, hoping to generate interest and support for the Independence for Poland movement. She carried on working and in 1910 she was on track for her second Nobel Prize, a groundbreaking feat. However, a story broke in the press. It was released that Marie Curie had been having an affair with a married man. Now her husband was long since dead and the man in question was estranged from his wife. But this was a scandal. National newspapers ran with it. When she came home from a conference there was an angry mob waiting outside her house. The press lied about her, they slandered her name, and her colleagues seized upon this opportunity to blacken her name and tarnish her results. In fact, the situation got so bad that the Nobel Committee even questioned whether she was deserving of her second Nobel Prize. Eventually they decided that she was because she had carried out the work regardless of her personal life. However, they made it abundantly clear she was no longer welcome at the awards dinner, as they didn't want to be associated with such a scandalous woman. Now, whatever the scenario surrounding the awards dinner, she did receive that second Nobel Prize. And that Nobel Prize in chemistry was a groundbreaking achievement. It made her the first person ever to receive Nobel Prizes in two different scientific disciplines. In fact, if you read through Marie Curie's biography, her main achievements are often prefixed by the first. The first female to get a doctorate in science in France. The first female lecturer. The first woman to receive a Nobel Prize. And the first and only person ever to receive Nobel Prizes in physics and in chemistry. Now, we've come a long way since the days of Marie Curie, but we still have problems. We must continue to fight stereotypes, inequalities and any difficulties that anyone might encounter. We should take Marie Curie as an example. And anywhere adversity is encountered, overcome it and excel at what you love.